So now I'm six years old, being raised by my aunt, who's in the 60s. They labeled me with ADHD and put me on Ritalin. I never had a problem with academics. In fact, they wanted to skip me to a high grade. But trouble always found me, and I would get suspended from school. Whether it was fighting someone for talking about my mother, or a teacher actually lying on me. My aunt would have to come get me. It paid me to stress her out. We would go to my godfather and godmother's house occasionally. Ronald, my godfather, was my aunt's son. But we are related by marriage, not blood. So we don't look the same. Now Ronnie loved me, and so did his wife. They treated me well. I didn't know at the time, but my godfather used to be a pimp, and my godmother used to be a trick. A lot of the people that were around then were pimps, hoes, drug users, etc. They had a daughter named Sharonda. We were all around the same age and were in each other's baby pictures. What we didn't know is that pretty soon, Ronnie and his wife would pass away from AIDS. A lot of family and friends were dying. So now it's three girls and one boy being raised by my aunt. I remember having therapy sessions to help me with my anger. I just wanted a cookie. Now we're living in Irvington, New Jersey. We had a small pool in the backyard. We were all Davis kids, so my aunt received a check for each of us. I can honestly say she did us right. We got new sneakers once a month. We had three meals a day. We ate home-cooked meals at the dinner table. Nothing crazy, healthy portions. I would fall asleep at the dinner table every night because I refused to eat my peas. We would get our nightly snack. Me and my sister would play together and argue a lot. Kendra always got away because she had asthma. So she would tell on me and I would get sent to bed early. I hated going to bed because it was upstairs in the attic. I would hear voices and see shadows on the wall. When I got in trouble in school, I would have to sit in the front room in the dark and watch the kids play outside. Sometimes I would try to hold my breath so I could die, but I didn't have a heart, so I just cried myself to sleep. There were good times like when me and my sister played basketball on the court. She was like the brother I never had. She knew how to box too. We both swore we was Michael Jordan. I used to get in fights on the court because other boys was being disrespectful. We would ride our bikes through the neighborhood. I remember one time Kendra flipped over her handlebars. I couldn't stop laughing and crying. She was pissed. Then it was the bullies across the street. I would run. She would fight. I was soft back then. And scared of my rage. My aunt threatened to send me to military school. She just didn't know what to do with me. My father would take me on the weekends. There was no structure. I did whatever I wanted. I stayed outside with the drug dealers until 12 p.m. I saw my father buy drugs on a consistent basis. I also had to watch my father transform after he was high. I got used to it. He couldn't hide it. He had truck marks all up and down his arm. He told me he was in the army, and my dumb ass believed it. Until I used to hike with my friends, and they would call my father a crackhead. One of my best friends lived across the street. His name was Clarence. I called him C. He wasn't scared of shit, and he was good with the ladies. So he put me on the game early. Until one afternoon, my aunt asked us to go to Burger King and get her a fish sandwich. After she ate the fish sandwich, she began to hold her chest and told us to call the ambulance. The ambulance came and rushed her to the hospital. We all had to move the nook with my aunt Sandy. That was the last time we would see my aunt. She would die days later from an aneurysm. And who did everyone blame? Me. They said if she didn't adopt me, she would be alive. So now another funeral with a lot of eyes grilling me. Now I'm really in the hood. Welcome to the Hooterville. I had the feeling that life would never be the same again. Maybe it was the stolen cars, doing donuts on the corners at night, or the murders.